Hey YouTube, another video. It's been a while since I made a video for my channel. Um, been kind of busy with life, but here I am again. Something I wanted to say is that two weeks ago my channel reached 100 subscribers and that makes me very happy and it encourages me to make more videos. So to all of you that have subscribed so far, I want to thank you and I hope that you keep enjoying my videos and uh, if you have any questions or comments then feel free to ask. Uh, in any case, today I've built a circuit. The purpose of the circuit was to drive this alarm clock mechanism, um, but instead of using its own circuit, which is based on a quartz oscillator, I'm going to use a 555 timer and I can play around with it and make it go faster and slower and just experiment with it. But um, let's talk a bit about the circuit. Um, what we have here is a 555 timer and we have two um, inverters, not gates, and we have an H bridge here which is used to drive the motor that is inside. Now, if you want to know how to build uh, these circuits, then you can watch previous videos that I made. Um, they're pretty much the same, and I've connected them. And at the end of the video, I'm going to mention which parts here I've changed to make this all work together. But um, let's talk a little bit about the motor here inside. So, we need an H bridge to drive it because what we have here is um, it's called the 11th uh, step motor. And it's basically a stepping motor that has a single coil and uh, two steps and um, every step is 180 degree. And to get a full rotation we need to drive uh, both, we need to carry out both steps and for that we need an H bridge. So the first step will be one direction and the second step will be another direction. And the way it works is that we have two knot gates here and we have our timer and when the timer uh, gives low this gate goes high and it drives one direction and when the timer goes high this gate goes low and this gate goes high and that drives the other direction and um, that's pretty much it again if you want to learn how to make these video uh, circuits you can watch my previous videos um, that's about it I've played around a bit. Um, as you can see, I've added here this pot, uh, which I'm just using. I can make the motor go faster or slower. And obviously, you can play around with the components here. So if, for example, I would take this one mega ohm resistor out and replace it with just a 56K. There we go. So you can see that already the motor behaves differently because we've changed the pulse frequency so now we can make it go faster or slower. This motor does have a, a limitation so you can't really drive it like very fast um, or very slow. Um, you can also change this capacitor here, make it go slower or faster. But in any case, not going too much into that. You can see all that in the timer video. Um, that's it. I hope you like this video. And um, if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll make more in the future. Um, just to mention the parts that I will add to the circuit. So um, here, obviously, I've used the pot. And you can see the difference in the original circuit. But... Um, here in the H bridge um, I've used two transistors BC547 or just any NPN um, as switches and these are connected to the gates and that basically drives the, the, the H bridge and um, also I've added uh, in the H bridge itself uh, two resistors 1K between the wires here in the middle which form the H and that is um, because if you remove them then that would drive too much current into the coil and it will make the motor um, well act erratically basically. You can see that and if you experiment it yourself 
In any case, that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.